Now it's 10 to 3. What time did you start, Jim? Uh, I believe I got here, started painting right at 8 o'clock. I forget. 8 o'clock, I think. Well, now you weren't just painting this whole time. We went to lunch, didn't we? Yeah, we took an hour for lunch, so we got a good probably six hours into it. And there's, there's a little, whenever you go from one paint to the other, you got to Clean out your paintbrush, yeah, yeah, your yeah. rollers, yeah, your cans, out, a little prep work. Exactly. You know, all that kind of stuff. You had to mask it all off this morning. Yeah. Put the plastic down. Put all this stuff down. But see, you can do something like this in a day. One day. Absolutely. He's still got just a little bit more to do. There's there's a little bit of baseboard here. He's gonna throw some paint on that really quick. He's got it all masked down, so he doesn't really have to cut in the bottom. May have to cut in the top a little bit. Yeah. We just got this baseboard right here to do. Door casing. And then there's one door right here. This door casing is MDF and it's pre-primed. If you ever get um, door casing at the hardware store, get the pre-primed stuff. And I think that's about the only stuff they carry nowadays. But if you get the wood stuff that's not pre-primed. Then you've got an extra step to do, and this MDF with the pre-prime, this stuff paints up really nice. So think about MDF next time for your door casings and your baseboard. All this baseboard is MDF. Okay, this stuff is nice and straight. It does not bow. It does not crown. And once you put it down, you can pretty much forget about it. Yeah, that's a true statement there. Use, or say a homeowner. What would he use? What would a homeowner use to get the paint latex, off his hands? Latex, dry latex paint. Or would you use gloves? I don't know. Have you ever thought about using the latex gloves? The thin ones? I've thought about it, but I've never, I haven't worn them yet. Yeah? Why do your hands crack after a while? My hands get cracked and paint. Yep. Rise up in it and they get cracked and then <clears throat> I'm trying to use like a latex paint remover non-toxic uh, so I can use something. OxyClean works good but it's harsh on your skin. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's... I don't know. I don't do paint enough. Well when you're painting though I think a person should look into maybe wearing gloves just to keep their hands in good working condition. Rather okay. Then, then that would be a consideration in taking care of your skin properly when you're painting. Uh -huh. I think that's an important factor in the homeowner. Uh, somebody that doesn't do everyday painting but still wants to keep their hands from being all dried, tore up. So we're going to check into that and make a estimation of what we can use whether gloves or any kind of 